Hi there, I'm Roger Rao. I'm going to talk about our newer version of WebEx Zimlet. This Zimlet offers about four big features, but out of them, the main one is scheduling a WebEx meeting. Now, let's see how we would create a WebEx meeting as of today. So the first option is you open a Calendar Compose in Zimbra and add all the participants and check their free busy information and then figure out exactly when they are available and stuff and then go to webex and create a meeting for that free busy information and also copy all the participants and uh, ultimately send invite from webex uh, the other option is you open calendar compose in zimbra and add all the participants check their free busy information and then go to webex and create a dummy webex meeting for the required date and time and once you get a webex email you copy that email back in the calendar compose and then send a meeting from within zimbra and as you can see it's not very flexible and you might have to do it all over again if you have to modify the meeting uh, as a part of the solution the zimlet adds a button called save as webex within calendar compose and all you need to do is to click on save as webex instead of the save button in order to create a webex meeting now once you click that the zimlet grabs subject date time recurrence etc information and creates a webex meeting in the background and after it creates the webex meeting it inserts all the details right into the meeting's body and then it goes ahead and then saves the meeting itself now this means all the participants will get the webex details right within the meeting invite itself before I move on, I would like to show how you would set up WebEx accounts. Uh, this Zimlet allows you to manage up to five accounts. This helps people manage their bosses, CEOs, and our team's accounts along with their own accounts. So once you install WebEx Zimlet, come here, right click, and then click on manage accounts. Once this dialog box shows up, you enter WebEx username, password, and company ID. Company ID is just the first part of the company specific WebEx URL. For example, it could be VMware if your company specific WebEx URL is uh, vmware.webex.com. And then you can also add alternate hosts. Essentially, your uh, meetings are going to have multiple hosts, and but you need to provide permission before you can add them. So, in order to do that, follow the instructions over here. Okay, so coming to the teleconference settings, here you add the toll-free phone number, toll phone number, and all the other international phone numbers that you might have. So you can also add a phone passcode. And similarly, you can add a, a second account's information. So let me move down here. And if you notice here, we also allow you to auto-associate a calendar with a WebEx account. So basically what you say is, okay, whenever I am creating a, an appointment in this particular calendar, use this, this specific WebEx account. Okay, let's move on to the third big feature, which is called Quick Create Meeting. And this essentially allows you to easily invite and create a WebEx meeting. Okay, let's see how it works. So you come to the Zimlab, right click, and then select Start a Quick Meeting. And then you can add an attendee, it has autocomplete, and then press OK to start. It immediately creates a WebEx meeting and also starts the meeting. And you can also start a quick meeting by simply dragging and dropping an email like that and it populates all the attendees. Or you can even uh, drag and drop bunch of contacts or even you can drag and drop a calendar itself okay uh, the fourth and final feature I'd like to demo is a start or join an existing meeting okay uh, come to the Zimlet and right click on it and then select start or join an existing meeting once you, are, once you selected that, you get a select WebEx account dialog which allows you to choose whichever account you want to use. And then once you're done with that, it will grab all the, the list of all meetings that 
that are scheduled for you. So you can see over here at the top, so it should have, it also allows you to filter like from now on or just the meetings for today or tomorrow or you know, next seven days. Some final notes, uh, please download the Zimlet from gallery, gallery.zimlet.com and the gallery is uh, going to be the main repository with all the latest uh, enhancements and also bug fixes. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Raja Rao. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the Zimlet.